Hey guys, Brian Sullivan, founder of Precise Selling with your weekly video tip. Now this week we're gonna talk about how to value a customer friendship. And you know the ones I'm talking about. The accounts you've been calling on for a while, they know your spouse's name, you know their kid's name, you're genuinely friends. Now, I get often asked the question, hey, Sally, I've got some folks who I've been calling on a while. I don't want to seem overly salesy. I don't want to be pushy. You know, I, I, want to, I want them to regard me as a friend. Now, I want to quote an old English poet. I don't do this often. The guy's name is Robert Sothy. He says, no distance of place or lapse of time can lessen the friendship of those who are thoroughly persuaded by each other's worth. And I'm not talking about how much cash you have in your pocket. It's how much value you bring to your friend. So, question for you. Do you look at your customers as friends? And do they see you as a friend? So, let's start with the definition of what a friend is. Now, the dictionary describes a friend as a person you know well and you regard with affection and trust. But as it relates to business, I have another definition for you as a salesperson. I believe a friend is somebody you care about so much that you feel you owe it to them to keep them informed of the latest products and services you offer. Because if you truly believe in the benefits of what you sell, wouldn't you first want your friends to know about it? Here's the downside. Unfortunately, the word friend has been distorted by countless salespeople who believe that if they try to present too many new solutions to that friend customer, they'll suddenly stop being their friend. Now, I say this on the contrary, because by delivering value to your buddies, you're going to create friends for life. And your friendship will be built on a foundation of service, not a foundation of, hey, Joe, just checking in. Hey, Sue, you know, I don't want to push you. <laughs> and sales guilt. No, they don't need that from us. Why? Because... They're our friends. We got to give them our best. So this week, don't forget that while many of your customers make you feel like that you're part of the team, I got to tell you, your friendship is not what they're paying for. They're paying for your professionalism, your knowledge, your ability to match their needs with the perfect solution. So keep selling them guilt-free products and services that make their life easier, more efficient, more profitable. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to create value-based friendships that are nearly impossible to break. So, I'll see you next week, friend, for your precise selling tip.